Okay, so boom. So I wanted to unpack something I've been noticing on social media when it comes to student loans. So if you're not familiar, the student loan has two different parallels up to 10k if you don't have Pell Grants and up to 20k if you do have Pell Grants and you know threshold. But what am I talking about? Let's read along. The debt forgiveness is expected to apply only to those currently holding student debt. But if you voluntarily made payments since March 2020, when payments were paused, you can request a refund for those payments. According to the Federal Office of Student Aid, contact your loan servicer to request a refund. While this potential bad can seem too good to be true, I want you to always do your CYA and due diligence when it comes to this. So people are calling their original servicer to find out that they have a whole new servicer. And if your servicer, new servicer is a bank owned one, you might, you don't qualify for this. And one thing I want people to keep in mind though is that will this actually disqualify or even have them being able to complete that form whenever it comes out for the student loan forgiveness and also when it comes to Pell Grant, then you're gonna have to have some documentation proving that you had the Pell Grant. Um, I had the Pell Grant almost a couple decades ago and I have documentation proving that. And they're not st stating how far back, maybe I missed it, maybe I didn't, um, but how far back are we talking about the Pell Grant? I love to always do CYA and my due diligence and everything when it comes to my finances and this is not, not the question. So. Do your CYA, um, do your due diligence, but keep that in mind when it comes to information like this. That's it.